The left coronary artery will arise from the left coronary sinus. It passes between the left of the pulmonary trunk and the left auricle. It then bifurcates into the left anterior descending artery and the left circumflex artery. The left anterior descending artery will run on the interventricular groove and along the inferior margin of the heart. It then joins with the posterior interventricular branch of the right coronary artery. The left anterior descending artery will give off some branches. These branches here are known as the diagonal branch. They supply the left ventricle. This branch here will supply parts of the right ventricle. And there are septal branches as well, which supply the anterior two-thirds of the interventricular septum which is very important for proper functioning uh, of the heart as it is a major pump. Over here, we have the left circumflex artery. It runs on the atrioventricular groove. It then terminates at the crux of the heart with the right coronary artery. It gives off branches called the obtuse marginal artery and this supplies the left ventricle. There are also branches that go to the atrium and branches that supply the conducting system of the heart. The conducting system that is supplied by the left coronary artery would be the bundle of his in the interventricular septum. In summary, the left coronary artery will bifurcate into the left anterior descending artery and the circumflex and they have branches that supply mainly the left ventricle, the left atrium, the conducting system and some parts of the right ventricle.